Well, cruel and unusual is pretty specific. It's actually a constitutional right against cruel and unusual punishment. But Smith died this morning at exactly 10.20 a.m. Central Time. Lethal injection was the method. Uh, he told us this week that he did not request a last meal, though he really didn't explain why. And then when asked whether he had any last words, he reportedly said this. Nah, I'm good. He had one person by his side and only one person, Reverend Jeff Hood, his spiritual advisor. And Reverend Hood is kind enough to join me live now. Um, Reverend Hood, thank you for being on. I know this is not easy for you because this is um, something that you vehemently oppose. And regardless of what you feel about the inmate, you feel that death is just wrong, sanctioned death is just wrong. I just want to be clear about that. Um, I'm not going to ask you to weigh in on the guilt or innocence of, of Michael Smith, but I do want you to explain to me sort of what happened today, the, the, the whole play-by-play. -play. Sure, Ashley. Thank you so much for uh, having me once again. You know, this is, uh, I'm, I'm very aware that Michael Smith is, uh, is not the most sympathetic of figures, um, but I can tell you to, today was uh, heartbreaking, um, there was uh, certainly a lack of humanity involved, and uh, there seems to always be a lack of humanity involved. I went into the, the chamber with Michael. Uh, I began to read scripture. One of the scriptures that he requested was uh, in John 8, where it says, You who are without sin, cast the first stone. Uh, we read the 23rd Psalm, where it says, Thou anointest my head with oil. Uh, I applied oil to uh, Michael's forehead, and we talked. He said he wanted to uh, let um, his family know that he loves them. He once again proclaimed his uh, his innocence, as he has to y'all. And um, then he began to cry, and he began to, um, you know, tears began to stream down the the right side of his face. And, there's no doubt that he was, uh, I mean, I can't speak to whether he was frightened or not, but I do know it was a, an incredibly uncomfortable uh, moment. And, uh, you know, I felt like I was, I was trying to provide peace, but, uh, you know, it's a very difficult thing to do uh, when you're in the midst of uh, someone who's you know, got IVs running out of them, you know, they're strapped down to a table. The execution uh, proceeded. And as, uh, as the execution proceeded, I expected him to make a last statement. Um, I expected him to, to once again proclaim his innocence. And so I was particularly surprised when he didn't. Um, as we proceeded forth, um, the, the, once they decide whether or not they're going to make the last statement or they make the last statement, at that point, that's when the Poison is, uh, is supposed to start flowing, and it's supposed to be relatively quick from there. Um, this was uh, a little slower than what I've experienced. Uh, as you know, this is my uh, sixth execution in 14 months. Uh, so I, you know, I've seen this many times, and how this is supposed to go, it was, uh, it was, uh, it was slow. Um, I think one thing, actually, I did want to point out is that uh, um, in Oklahoma, uh, one of the, the folks that I saw when the curtain came up uh, was Attorney General Gettner Drummond. And uh, Gettner Drummond and I, we uh, probably agree on very little, certainly disagreed about whether or not this execution should take place. But one of the things that Attorney General Drummond brings to uh, this space when he attends these executions is the fact that you know a lot of people who are involved in handing down these punishments do not witness these things. They don't engage in these things. And so, um, you know, I, I think for everyone who was there, uh, it's painful, it's unnerving. And, um, you know, as we approached the end of the execution, I looked at Michael, um, you know, I could tell that he was uh, close to death, if not dead. And the last thing I saw was uh, a little tear uh, come out of the side of his face. Um, Ashley, I'm aware for a lot of your viewers, like it's you know they don't have a lot of sympathy for uh, for this moment. But I do think that uh, for for me, having been there, it, it is uh, it, it's not something that we have to do. 
Um, it's not, uh, you know, we don't have to kill each other in order to teach each other not to kill each other. And I think that that was something that was reinforced uh, in me today. And lastly, I'll say that um, when I was on my way home from uh, McAllister back to Little Rock, I went having um, this image of, of Michael saying, you know, why didn't you help me? Um, you know, just it's an incredibly haunting and, and difficult thing to watch someone die and feel like uh, you were you were supposed to preserve life. And and I know that uh, with the victims, um, you know, I feel the same level of, of devastation. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.